us a thousand times more, oh God. So increase our sensitivity in the spirit, Father. Let us know, Lord God, the difference between a sheep and a, and a wolf in sheep's clothing, oh God. Then, Lord, give us the divine favor to walk into a room and the favor of God overwhelm us like a shield. Then, Lord, we ask that you increase our families a thousand times more, oh God. We bind up every generational curse that has plagued our family, whether it be in sickness and strife and dysfunction, oh God. We ask that you bless every marriage that's attached to this room, oh God. For what you have joined together, let no man put asunder. And for that, we give you praise. Dear Lord, we ask that you increase our peace. We ask that you be Jehovah Shalom that we sing about. Jehovah Shalom that we read about, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that depression cannot live in this atmosphere. We declare that doubt cannot live in this atmosphere. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, oh God. So even right now, we go beyond the veil, oh God. And we break past the mountain, oh God. We break past the valley. We break past the chains. And we use our worship as access to the more of you, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you're increasing our clarity, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that when we leave here tonight, we will have answers, oh God. We thank you that when we leave here tonight, oh God, we shall see situations turn around. Peace, we command you to take your place. Deliverance, we command you to take your place. Prosperity, we command you to take your place. Provision, we command you. Healing, we command you to take your place. Father, you said in your word that the kingdom suffers violence and the violent take it by force. We will not come into your presence with the spirit of passivity. We will not come into your spirit in your presence with the spirit of fear, oh God. But we come boldly before, declaring that you are the Lord God Almighty. You are the Lord God mighty in battle. You are still Jehovah Rapha who is our healer. So we declare that every disease is under our feet. We declare that every diagnosis is under our feet. We declare that the King of Glory is working on our behalf. So Father, when we go into work this week, we declare greater. When we go into our bank accounts this week, we declare greater. When we spend time with our families, we declare greater. When we come into your presence day after day, we declare greater. No longer will we have church as usual, oh God, but give us a supernatural encounter. Let your angels who hearken to your voice surround this place, oh God. Let your angels that hearken to your voice hear our cries, oh God. For we know that when we cry out to you, Lord God, you will answer us, oh God. So we put you in remembrance of your word, God. You said that your promises are yes and amen. You said that after we've sown in tears, we're going to reap in joy, oh God. You said that all things work together for the good of them who love you. Father, we love you. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you. And we ask that the more of your presence saturate this atmosphere. Drown us in your glory. Let us be submerged in your salvation. Father, we want to see you. We want to see you high and lifted up. Lifted up above our problems. Lifted up above our needs. So we forget about ourselves and we concentrate on you. For you are great. You are mighty. You are strong. You are powerful. You are a healer. You are a way maker. You are a keeper. You are a provider. You are a heart mender. You are a burden bearer. You are a low terror. We won't forget who you are. In spite of what we see, we will still say glory, hallelujah. In spite of what we hear, we will still say, Lord, surround this place with your glory. You know, we speak over every child, oh God. We curse child molestation in the name of Jesus. We declare that when our children step into schools, oh God, that there are angels surrounding them. We declare, Lord God, that when we get in our vehicles, oh God, you will not let our foot dash against the stone, but you will be with us, oh God. So as we even go further in this encounter, we ask that the more of your glory be with us. Let the train of your road fill the temple of our heart, and we give you glory for it. I said we give you glory for it. Somebody let your voice be heard in the temple tonight. Somebody let your praise match your expectation. Let your praise match the miracle you need. Let your praise match the goodness of Jesus. Let your praise match his promise. Let your praise match the testimony you want to see. And we declare all things well. We declare all things done. And it is so. Somebody said, and it is so. And it is so. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people said, hallelujah. Now if you know that your promises 
are going to manifest. Somebody just give them a praise in the room. Hallelujah. We are excited for all tonight because we have one of God's premier vessels, Brother Jameric Campbell in Youthful Praise, to lead us higher into this worship experience. Can you bless them with a hand clap of praise and a hallelujah? We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know he's worthy to be praised? From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, our God is truly worthy to be praised. We need you to put your hands together with us. Come on. Come on. Hey. We bless your name. Hey. Everybody say, sing oh.
and I think of the goodness of Jesus yeah. and all that he's done for me. My soul, my soul, cries out hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. I can't speak for you, but look, the least I can do is praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what you're going through, you know you can take it to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Can we minister to you? Come on, what a friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Come on, talk to him. Say, have we trials? Have we trials and temptations? Oh, oh, oh. Sin is the trouble anywhere. Is the trouble anywhere? Precious Savior. Our precious Savior, He is still our refuge. When we're weak, when we're weak oh, yeah. and heavy laden, hallelujah, sing cover with the load of care, cover with the load of care. Tell them, say, we should never be, we should never be discouraged.
say we should never be we should never be discouraged stay right there hallelujah come on tell them again say we should never be we should never be Come on, tell them choir. Say, you should never be, yeah. You should never oh, yeah. be discouraged. One more time, say, we should never be, yeah. We should never be discouraged. When we, when we take it to the Lord in prayer. Last time, come on, make it big. Take it to, take it to the Lord in prayer. Somebody give him praise. Listen, I can take it to the Lord. Hallelujah. I lay it at your feet. And I put it in your hands. Yeah. I'm going to give it to the Lord, yeah. give it over to the Lord, because yeah. look, he's the only one that can work it out, hallelujah, I searched all over, couldn't find nobody, look high and low, still could find nobody, nobody greater. Nobody great enough, nobody greater than you. Uh, hallelujah, Chief. Thank Come you, on, God. bless his name. Come on, clap your hands, bless his name all over the building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, bless his name all over the building. Come on, somebody that has some things you want to give to God. Come on, I don't see enough of you clapping your hands. You're looking. Come on, clap your hands all over the building. Oh, we thank God tonight. Amen. We bless his holy and righteous name tonight. Let's clap our hands for Brother Jamaric and his team. What an awesome, awesome job tonight that they did. We're here tonight for one express purpose, and that is to go before the altar of God tonight. How many of you believe in the power of prayer? Amen. Let me see your hands tonight. Amen. We're going to bring... Uh, our leader up tonight, he's going to lead us out in prayer. Notice I said lead. Let the church say lead. Amen. He's going to lead us in prayer tonight, which means we must follow where God leads him tonight. Listen, I believe atmosphere is so very, very important. The Bible says enter into his presence in a certain way. You can't just walk into the presence of God. Enter into his presence with singing. Enter into his courts with praise. Amen. Lift your hands all over the building right there. Lord. I want you to build your personal altar right there where you are. Come on. Before we have music, we're so conditioned to have music. Come on, open up your mouth. I need people with relationship. Come on, prayer is the portal by which God speaks to us, by which God transmits. Come on, I want you right now, all over the building. Come on, take authority over your row. Take authority over your row. We got work to do tonight. Wow. Come on, open up your mouth. We're not here for a show. We're here pressing our way in tonight. On this last Sunday in January, God, we give you now our entire month that you might give us the entire year. Hallelujah. So we thank you and we bless you, almighty God. Oh, awesome redeemer, we give you glory tonight. We magnify your name, oh God. We declare that you are incredible. You're righteous in all of your ways tonight. And we want you to speak to us tonight. Amen. Come on, say it. Speak to us, God. Speak to us, God. Brian, bring the table. Amen. Come on, say it. Speak to us, God. Speak to us, God, tonight. We thank you tonight, Lord. Your voice shall we hear tonight. Hallelujah. And we shall not hear another. The spirit of the living God, we thank you and we bless you tonight. Hallelujah, God. For a spirit of prayer that shall be in the room tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. 
Come on, glorify him right now. Glorify him right now. Glorify him right now. Come on, seekers. Come on, seekers. Come on, seekers. We're going to stir tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, God. We magnify you right now. You are great, oh God. And you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, God. Our ears are in tune to your voice now, Lord. Our ears are in tune to the frequency, hallelujah, of your voice. Hallelujah, God. Elevate our frequency now. We want to hear from you, Lord God. We love you, mighty God. We bless you tonight. Hallelujah. And we brought our own praise tonight, God. We're not going to come into the house any kind of way, Lord, sluggish. But we come in joining with the angels tonight that are situated all around heaven's throne. We ask tonight, Lord God, that you be glorified. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands right now and open up your mouth. Be glorified right now. We thank you that there's a breaking that's going to happen in the spirit tonight, Lord God. We thank you that there's a breaking that's going to happen in the spirit tonight. And we give you praise tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and give him a praise all over the building tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and give him a praise tonight. Come on, give him a praise that's commensurate with your expectation, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God, we thank you tonight. Oh, God, we thank you tonight. Oh, we thank you for hearing us tonight, oh, God. We thank you for hearing us tonight. And we cry out to you tonight. We seek you tonight. We tear down every idol and we seek you tonight, Lord God. May you be lifted up tonight, oh God. May you be lifted up tonight, oh God. May you be lifted up tonight. High and lifted up. High and lifted up. High and lifted up, oh God. We glorify you and we magnify you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, clap your hands now all over the building tonight. Come on, trying to get everybody on one accord so God can do what he what he's going to do. Come on, clap your hands all over the building tonight. Come on, clap your, listen to the instruction. You're not listening. Clap your hands. There you go. Come on, clap your hands tonight. Come on, clap your hands, oh ye people. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Hallelujah. We're going to receive now Pastor Ty Carter, my friend and brother. Uh, he flew down this afternoon from Nashville, this evening from Nashville, Tennessee. You're going to see in just a moment what I already know, that there is a mantle on his life, specifically in this area of prayer. How many of you believe God's going to speak to us through prayer tonight? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Listen, this is what I want you to do tonight because you got to know how to pull on someone's anointing. Yeah. I know you went home and you ate and you watched the game and you might be a little sluggish tonight, but you got to say like David said tonight. Amen. You got to say everything in me is going to bless the Lord tonight. Yeah. Everything in me is going to bless his holy name even on tonight. Someone clap your hands on, on tonight. Let's receive him tonight. Pastor Ty Carter, Nashville, Tennessee. Amen. Come on, let's bless him as he will come tonight. Come on, let's appreciate the gift that God has given unto him. Every hand lifted. Begin to open up your mouth. Come on, you can do it. Raise it up. Come on, come on. Rebandi rebandu rebabanda rebababaka yo. Sikur rebandi rebabantu rebabandi rebababata ya babandu kure bababata. Come on, raise it up, church. Rebandi kure bababante rebabandu rebababasi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Father, we thank you that God, you are holy and you are righteous. We thank you that God, you are king. Yes, Lord. Father God, we thank you for your sovereignty in this moment. Father God, we thank you that God, you make no mistakes. So Father, we give your name glory now. In the name of Jesus. 
Now listen, before we go any further, first of all, we thank God for Bishop and Lady Abair. Come on, let's thank God for them. How many of you came to seek the Lord? The Bible says that as we seek him, no good thing will be withheld from us. Somebody say, no good thing shall be withheld from me. Now, the way prayer and intercession works is that you have to open your mouth. Look at your neighbor and say, this is not meditation. This is not meditation. So you only have what you say. That's why the Bible says, ask in my name and it shall be given. You only have what you say. So it's good to say amen. Again, good to come in agreement, but that doesn't make it happen. You only have what you say. We're in the hour that God will exceed our expectations, but we have to expect something. If you come before him without any expectation, he can't meet it. And he won't because you're coming to him with an empty spirit. So, as I was praying to the Lord about this assignment, because intercession has become trendy, but when you are an intercessor, you understand that intercession is you standing in the gap between heaven and earth. That you're literally bringing what God has already released in heaven to make manifest in the earth. Somebody say, this is my night of God's manifestation. We're going to pray. 2 Kings 4, I'm going to read 1 through 7. And then we're going to pray. The Bible says, a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elijah saying, your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord, and the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. Watch this. So Elisha the prophet said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, your maidservant has nothing but a jar of of oil <laughs> she made a petition the prophet responded and said what do you want me to do and then he asked before you ask answer that tell me what do you have already in the house and she said I have nothing but a jar of oil lay your hand on yourself and say everything I need, everything I need is already in the house And he said, go borrow vessels from everywhere, from all of your neighbors. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to need you for this one. I'm going to need you for this one. I need you to make sure, Elijah tells her, I need you to make sure that the vessels are empty. <laughs> but make sure you just don't gather a few. And when you have come in, shut the door behind you, you and your sons, and pour it all into the vessels and set aside the full ones so she went from him shut the door behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out now it came to pass when the vessels were full that her sons said to her bring me another vessel and she said to her there is not another vessel and the oil ceased then she came and told the man of God and he said sell all the oil and pay your debt you and your sons shall live off the rest a couple of things and then we're going to pray Number one, again, you have everything you need is already in the house. God's releasing fresh oil. Last year, anointing won't work for this one. So you're going to have to do something different. The Bible says you cannot pour new wine into old wineskins. Because if you do, it will cause it to burst. You cannot pour this new season into your old habits. Into your old posture of prayer. 
It won't work in this season. So tonight, you're going to have to do something you've never done before. Your expectation has got to go to another level. Because watch this. The Bible says as she was pouring her and her sons, watch this, that as long as they had expectation, there was this, the oil never ceased. But the moment they stopped expecting, the oil stopped. Mm. And he said, bring me empty vessels for you and your sons, which means this oil that God's releasing to you tonight is going to have generational effect. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This oil that God wants to release to you is for you and your children. Yes. And your children's children. Yes, Somebody say, I carry ancient oil. Yes. But watch this. Not only did this oil release something, but it also canceled something. The Bible says, she says, he, the, Elisha said her, go pay off your debt. Somebody say, there's a debt-free anointing here. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And then he said, after you've done that, you and your sons are going to live off the rest. Which means, watch this, not only did this anointing allow them to be spiritually fed, but now they're financially stable to now her kids get to live off what she sold in this moment. So tonight, you're not coming to pray. You're coming to sow. You're coming to sow your anointing at the altar. And as you sow your anointing at the altar, God's going to fill you in every empty place that you got. But you got to have expectation. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to need you for this one. So for the next few moments, we're getting ready to intercede, not only for ourselves, but for your neighbor. Yes, God. Yes, God. Tonight, you have to make the declaration that I'm leaving everything at the altar. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Because when you leave it there, he burns away everything that's not like him, yes, Lord. but then he pours into you everything that is of him. What yeah. you need is not new money. You just need a fresh pour. Yeah. And when you have this fresh pour, things are going to be released. Yeah. Let me give this, and then I promise you we're going to pray. The Lord began to show me the things about this region because I've never been to Hammond. I've been to Louisiana a lot, but I've never been to Hammond. And the Lord began to show me. He says that this city has been known for its cultivation. It's a place of development, a place of tilling the ground. Proverbs 12 and 11 says, he who tills the ground will have plenty of bread. I'm telling you, this is breeding ground, breeding ground for bread. <laughs> bread, especially in this culture, represents money. God has sent me here to pray you into a financial miracle. He says, not only is this region, is this city, and what Beacon Light is assigned to, to cultivate, to till the ground, but also you are to prepare. This is a house of preparation, the Lord says. This would be a training ground. Ephesians 6 says, put on the whole arm of God so that you can stand. You have to be prepared for the wrestle. <laughs> you have to be prepared for the war, but you got to put on the right stuff. Once you understand what kind of armor you are to carry, and every armor in Ephesians 6 is a layer. You are to pray that layer on you. Yes, God. Yes, God. And then he says, not only shall this be a place of training, but it shall be a place of war. You're standing in the gap. Don't, don't think that this all tonight is just to me to come back to church. We, have, we do that enough. This is an assignment yes, for you to stand and war. Yes, mm. Then he says, this will also be a house that is known to be sensitive to the moves of the Spirit. So God is releasing fresh oil. He's causing you to till the ground. He's causing you to be in a place of preparation. But he's also causing you to be sensitive to his word.
to his voice. God is getting ready to put you in a place that nothing will catch you off guard. And this is why, because as a watchman, they get to see, and historically in the Bible, a watchman will alert what's coming. Look at your neighbor and say, hey, watchman. So let's, let's, let's begin to invoke the presence of God. He's already here. But let's begin to really open up our mouths. Matter of fact, do this. Lay your hand on your neighbor and start praying for your brother and your sister. Come on, do it. You got to open your mouth. The Bible says you lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Whatever it is that your neighbor is in need of tonight, you have the power to release it to them. Come on. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our neighbor tonight. Father God, we thank you for our brother and our sister tonight. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, yes, Lord. God, we pray for them, God, right now, in the name of Jesus. Everything that they came in here with, God, we declare that, God, you're removing the burden from them now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you right now, in Jesus' name, that, God, you're releasing them into the next level of anointing. Father God, we thank you, yes, Lord, that, God, that whatever it is, that God you already supplied and you already worked it out Father right now in Jesus name God we declare for our brother and our sister that God today will be the last day this morning would be the last morning that God they will have to deal with what they had to deal with all week Father God in the name of Jesus Christ Father God now yes Lord we celebrate for what you're doing in our neighbor now Father God we ask right now that God that you will open the heart of our neighbor that God you will open the spirit of our neighbor that God for the next few moments in this atmosphere that God they will be open to the fresh move of God that God they would whatever hindrances that they came in here whatever expectations that are not of you that God you will cancel it off of them now that God in the name of Jesus they won't be like the man at the pool of Bethesda that they will miss their moment of jumping in the water that father in the name of Jesus we declare that God over our neighbor now that God they will not miss their moment that God they have not missed their season and God they have not missed their time and so father right now in the name of Jesus God now that we have prayed for our neighbor father God now we lift our hands and we say thank you father in the name of Jesus Christ yes Lord we lift our hands and we say glory you are glorious and you are mighty you are mighty to save yes Lord you are mighty to deliver and you are mighty to set free father in the name of Jesus you have a remnant of your people before we ask you for anything else God we thank you for being Jehovah God we thank you for being Jehovah sick and new God we thank you for being El Elyon God we thank you for being El Shaddai God, we thank you for being the great I am. Father God, we thank you for being the I am that I am. Father God, we thank you for being our sustainer. Father, we thank you for being our redeemer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for being Yeshua, the anointed one, the holy one, the righteous one. God, we thank you. And so, Father, we give your name the glory. And Father, we give your name the praise. God, you said, as we do the lifting that God you will do the drawing and so father we lift up your name for your name is a strong tower and the righteous run in and we are safe God we thank you that God you're releasing safety upon your children father we thank you that God you're releasing safety upon your daughters and your sons father right now in the name 
name of Jesus Christ. God, you say that God, you will give us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Father God, I release yeah, the praise of you, Father, upon your children. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we say hallelujah. God, we say thank you, Jesus, that God, you're releasing us from the spirit of grief and the spirit of heaviness. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, we thank you that God, you say that no weapon formed against your people shall be able to prosper. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, open up our hearts, open up our spirits. Father, God, to receive the fresh pour. God, we declare there's a river flowing. God, we declare that the rivers are flowing. God, we declare that the rivers are flowing. God, we declare rivers of peace, yeah. Rivers of joy, yes. Rivers, yeah, of provision. Rivers of anointing. God, we declare that the rivers are flowing in the name of Jesus Christ. releases the rivers the Bible says as you believe in me as the scriptures have said out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water rivers watch this when they begin to flow it doesn't matter how many obstacles are in there you know either go around it or go over it which means is that what God is releasing into you, it can't be stopped. Somebody say, what God is releasing in me cannot be stopped. The Bible says that the oil only ceased when there was no more vessels to be poured into. So for the next few moments, we're going to pray that we empty ourselves so that God can pour into us. Because the Lord says he's not wasting his oil in this season. And he's not going to pour his fresh oil over your mess. Somebody say fresh oil. One of the things I hate is when people fry fish or chicken in old grease. don't taste good it becomes heavy it's the same thing with your spirit when you try to bring something new with an old oil it becomes stinky it becomes heavy and non effective what God wants to release into you somebody say it's going to work I want you to lay your hand on three people this and say it's going to work this time. It's 
going to work because the oil of the Lord is fresh upon you. So, Father, right now in Jesus' name, you have a hungry people, yes? You have a thirsty people before you that says, God, God we empty ourselves now. If you have to bow, do that. If you need to walk around, do that. Because you got to let this go. Because there's some habits that won't work. Hmm. Oh, there, oh, oh, there it is. Some of you, you have an offense. God cannot pour oil over that offense. You got to let it go. And some of you, it's not with a person, it's actually with God. You've been disappointed. I see you. God says, I want you to lay down your disappointment before me. Lay your hand on yourself and say, God will not disappoint me. So, Father, right now in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you. Father, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, we come against the spirit of disappointment. And, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, we declare, yes, that, God, we are emptying ourselves before you. Mm. Father, God, we're emptying ourselves from any habits. Thank you, Father. Father, God, we're emptying ourselves, Father, God, from any thoughts. Thank you. Father, God, we're emptying ourselves from ourselves. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, God, you said bring me an empty vessel. Father, God, we declare that, God, we are open before you. Father God, we say yes to your will now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bow down before you. Our spirits and our hearts bow down before you. And so, Father, right now, in Jesus' name, Father God, we as we empty ourselves, Father God, as we empty ourselves from past traumas, God, as we empty ourselves from past victories, God, as we empty ourselves from past failures, Father God, as we empty ourselves from doctor's doctors, Diagnosis, Father God, as we empty ourselves from those thoughts, from those depressed thoughts, Father God, as we empty ourselves, Father, we ask now in the name of Jesus Christ, God, as we empty ourselves from fear, for you said you have not given us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, we empty ourselves, and now, God, as we empty, we acts that you fill us again yes father God fill us with your glory hallelujah father God fill us with your anointing and your power God fill us with your peace father God fill us with your joy father God fill us with your revelation knowledge father God fill us with your wisdom father God fill us with your creativity father God yes for you created us father God in the image of you father God help us to go back father God to the image that you created us to be and father we declare that God as you fill us we shall become God as you fill us we shall do the work God as you fill us the anointing that God you are placed on our lives shall cause the demons to flee father God we declare that God your children are anointed for this season father God I declare that God in the name of Jesus we are anointed to till the ground God, we are anointed to cultivate. God, we are anointed to hear the sensitivity of your moves. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare a fresh pour. this when the two blind men was on the side of the road they kept yelling to get Jesus' attention because they were persistent in their cry the Bible says that Jesus stood still where they were turned to them and said what do you want me to do They said, Lord, have mercy on us. He said, okay. 
what do you want me to do for you? They said that our eyes may be open. The Bible says, and immediately they received sight. God took them from necessity to desire. Yes, God. Yes, God. The necessity was have mercy on me. Yes. The desire was help us to see. Yes, God. I don't know what you need, but God says he's already supplied that. Now he's about to give you your desires. But the only way it's going to work, you got to say something. He said, what do you want me to do for you? They responded that our eyes may be open. So for the next 60 seconds, don't worry about nobody else. If you want to sit down, that's on you. If you want to stand, cool. Whatever it is that you choose to do, but what you can't do is be quiet. God says in these next few moments, he's going to release to you everything you request. I'm going to prove it to you, and then we're going to pray. In Psalm 20, hallelujah, thank you, Father. In Psalm 20, I'm going to get there in just a second. Give me one second, and then we're going to pray. The Bible says in verse 4, may he grant you according to your heart's desire watch this and fulfill all of your purpose lay your hand on yourself and say my purpose shall be fulfilled watch this verse 5 says we will rejoice in your salvation O Lord and in the name of our God we will set up our banners and may the Lord fulfill all of your petitions which means is every request that you're making tonight by faith, the Lord's going to fulfill it. So God's taking you from necessity to desire, from desire to fulfillment. Say that. God is taking me from necessity to desire, from desire to fulfillment. So for the next few moments, open your mouth. Don't you worry about nobody else. Open your mouth and begin to make your request be made known unto God. Come on, let's do it. Come on. Don't be afraid to make your requests. Remember, you only have what you say, not what you think, what you say. But death is in the death and life is in the power of the tongue. So, Father, right now in Jesus' name, as my brothers and my sisters are petitioning you, God, I declare that your word should not return to them void. Everything that you have released shall come to pass. And, Father, God, I declare woo, an immediate, suddenly anointing. 
that God in the next few days that God you'll begin to start manifesting yourself matter of fact tonight before it turns midnight God that God you release to them at least one of their requests from tonight father right now in Jesus name declare that it is so thank you for taking us from necessity to desire just shrinks just shrinks Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that you will release to them the strategy, the wisdom, the knowledge to receive everything they just asked for. Yeah. Father God, they won't not have what you they have asked for because of not knowing how to. You're giving them their how and their when. They will release this in the right season, in the right time. Thank you, Father. They will not miss their season. So, Father, right now, in Jesus' name, responding to us. We thank you that your promises are yes and amen. Lift your hands real quick. In this moment, I just, I just want you to let God respond back to you. Because this is what we do. We forget that intercession and prayer is a conversation. Tell God what we need and God, God, thank you, thank you. But we never give him time to respond back. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God's getting ready to cause you to hear him fresh. For the next few moments, let him speak to you. There's two things I have to do as time is closing. There's 
there's two categories of people here that I, I must come in agreement with you lay my hands in agreement with you one it's about three of you that in the last three four months the doctor released or tried to release something to you standing in need of healing I want you to come to the altar I just want to lay my hands on you I don't need to know what it is if you're already at the altar stay if that's you this is one of the anointings that God has given me secondly there's about seven of you sleep pattern you can't sleep you didn't try Z quill and all the other quills come to this altar try music of the enemy is to get you exhausted so that you can't hear and when you can't hear you can't become so it's not always that the enemy's doing warfare it's coming subtle ways of just messing with your rest because some of y'all y'all get in eight hours but you still wake up restless the enemy wants to play with your mind and make you stress about stuff that's already worked out. You know, the adversary is a deceiver. How this work is that you have to see yourself already fulfilled of what you need. So if you're seeing yourself right now, I'm still going to be restless. It's not going to work. But if you can just think in your spirit right now, that when I leave here, tonight is going to be the best night I've ever rested in my life. says in Proverbs that anxiety brings depression, but a good word makes the heart glad. All you need is a word. Lay your hands on yourself. Say all is well. That's your word. Whatever it is, says you have this I got it mentality even when help comes you try to shy it away but God says trust what I'm sending you because I know previously your help actually became a burden but the Lord says this time I'm actually sending it before they send themselves but I'm sending this help to you. And the Lord says, if you would just trust me again, because you kind of be like, God, I, I hear you, but I'm going to work this out. He said, if you just literally trust me again, doors are getting ready to open for you. 
I even see a new career for you. The Lord says, I purposely let it happen to push you into your next. Because you wouldn't have left if it didn't happen this way. He said, just trust me. And this new career, you're going to have more money with less hours. Uh, Lady Abear, can I borrow you for a quick second? Promise we gonna all get what we need. Stretch your hands towards her. Father, in the name of Jesus, ooh, I declare right now, depression, let her go now. Woo, you still have enough to live for. I speak to your spirit now and say live again father right now in jesus name i pray for my sister now hallelujah father right now in jesus name yeah father god i declare that the enemy will no longer be able to interrogate her in her time of loneliness Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, yes, Lord, that God, is even as you've given her the new career, now, God, you're getting ready to give her fresh insight. Thank you, Father. The Lord says that this stream that he's releasing you to is not going to be your only stream. He's been talking to you about starting something that you're supposed to start from out of yourself. And I don't know if it's a new business. I don't know what it is, but it's something that's going to bring you even more money. Father, in Jesus' name, I declare that it will not and shall not be reversed. I declare new joy. Oh, my God. And Father God, I declare now in Jesus' name, as she trusts you again, she will not be disappointed. In the name of Jesus. And Father God, I don't know what this is that she has to have something done by March 5th. But Father, in Jesus' name, I declare that by March 1st, it's already going to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is so in Jesus' name. If you believe it for her, clap your hands. Come on, give God glory for her. Because what God just did for her, he's about to release to you. Somebody say, same grace. Lift your hands. says stop putting pressure on herself and what I saw was that there was
it's almost like you add pressure to perform as the oldest. And the Lord says, wow. The Lord says, it's not a matter of What I'm saying is this, it's not can you handle it, it's more so will you, here it is, watch this, trust him to work it out for your entire bloodline. I don't know what this is, it's like you want to be the one to kind of be the savior, which is causing you not to rest. It's like a competition thing. The Lord says, hallelujah, as you will yield, this is what this is, he's going to cause you to be able to be the wealthiest child. Because this is what it's been. It's almost like you are married to your plans. So when your plans don't work, you get frustrated. The Lord says, I got different plans. You just got to yield. But as you yield, wealth is coming to you. I remember when I was 17 playing baseball, messed up my knee, lost all my scholarship. I was mad because I had a plan that I thought was where I was supposed to be. If that never happened, I wouldn't be standing here before you now. God says, if you just trust me, I'm going to give you everything that you were wanting, but it's coming in a different package. And that don't mean you stop dreaming. That don't mean you stop planning. But what that does mean is that you don't get frustrated when it don't go your way. It's going to work for your good. But you got to chill. so angry. Chill. It's not, you don't have the control of it. Just chill. Look at your neighbor and say, just chill. Hmm. All right, lift your hands. I'm about to come pray for you. say this again, everything I need is already in me, and God is producing his best out of me. So Father, right now in Jesus' name, as I come in agreement with your daughters and your sons, I declare whether it's sickness, whether it's restlessness, Rather, is stress. We're coming to uproot it now in your name. And when I lay my hands on them, hallelujah. When Bishop lays his hands on them, we are declaring now in Jesus' name as they go back home that every infirmity has been left at the altar. Father, now in Jesus' name, we declare your healing power be released now. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, I receive. In Jesus' name. Bishop, can you help me lay hands?
Yahweh, y'all. Come on, say that. Spirit of the living God, we thank you today. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Feel God. Feel me up, God. Feel me up, God. God, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you for your fire tonight. We thank you for confirming tonight. Yes. We thank you for what you're doing in this moment, Lord. Hallelujah, God. And so we seal it with a worship. Come on, somebody need to cry out to the Lord tonight. Yes. I will not live this year empty. Come on, fill me up, God. Come on, fill me up. Hallelujah. We thank you for it, God. Fill me up. Hallelujah. I'm going to lift your hands all over the building today. Hallelujah. God, I thank you that I'm not going to run out. I'm going to run over because you are filling me up. Hallelujah. Say it till I overflow. Till I overflow. Hallelujah. I want to I want to run over. I want to run over. That's watching online right now, right where you are. Lift your hands and declare that the run over spirit in my home, in my life, I will not be empty in 2023. Hallelujah. I want to run over. I want to run over, yes. 
Hallelujah. I want to run over. Yeah. Oh, fill me up. Come on, lift your hands all over the place. Everybody say, I want you to run, run me over, God. Glory to God. Come on, clap your hands all over the building if you don't mind. Amen. Come on, you can do better than that. Clap your hands now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, stretch your hands here while, while we finish up. Come on, stretch your hands there. Stretch your hands there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, God. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise tonight. Wow. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on, let's bless him all over the house of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you heard the Lord speak to you tonight in some shape, form, or fashion? We thank God for that. Listen, we're on our way out. One of the things, one of the things that I heard the Lord say, uh, even as we were petitioning God, and Pastor was asking us to wait to let God speak back to us, I heard the Lord say this for our church, and this is for many of us. I want you to understand the times that we're living in, how sensitive it is in the spirit. The Lord says that this is a season he has to teach us to war. We've lost our ability to war. I'm talking about war in the spirit. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying tonight? And so I want you to be, be very, very uh, understanding and sensitive in the spirit that everything that God is uh, speaking to us to do, to engage in, in this year, is teaching us how to war. Look at somebody say, God's going to teach you how to war. Amen. Yeah, because, because listen, the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence, but the violent got to know how to take it by force. But you have to know that when you are under attack, how to do warfare for your house. How to do warfare for your finances. How to do warfare for your mind. How to do warfare to break certain things that's happening. Am I talking to anybody that's yeah. in here tonight? Yeah. The Lord says in this season, he's going to teach us how to war. And in order to teach us how to war, there's a maturing that has to take place even in 
uh, the Spirit. So I thank God for Pastor Ty tonight, his anointing. Can you clap your hands all over the building for him? Amen. We appreciate you. Listen, a part of that warring is learning how to hear from God. Amen. Lay hands on your ears tonight as we would get ready to go. Father, we thank you right now. Say, Lord, tune my ears to your frequency. Say it again. Lord, tune my ears to your frequency that I might hear from you. Say, Lord, heal everything in me that's impacting my hearing because I want to hear you in this season. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, clap your hands all over the building tonight for fresh hearing. Hallelujah. Listen, just before we leave, I want to give you an opportunity to sow tonight, sow into this anointing tonight, sow into everything that was spoken over to you. Uh, knowing how to sow, when to sow is a, uh, is a tactic of war, amen, of warfare, learning when to plant, learning when to plant, amen. And so I want to challenge every one of you. Can you stand to your feet tonight because we're going to go right after we do this. I want everybody to get a $35 seed in your hand tonight. $35 seed. Grab your phone tonight. Amen. I want you to get a $35 seed. Those of you that's watching me online tonight, I want you to get a $35 seed. Amen. Even on uh, tonight. I can't wait to release what God has just been allowing to percolate in my spirit uh, in this season about streams. Pastor started tapping into that thing, that there are streams that God is sending into your life. Amen. And we have to know how to open up and plant uh, into these various areas. $35 seed. I want you to get it now if you are going to give it on Cash App or Text to Give. If you uh, are going to give cash, uh, I'm going to ask you to bring it in just a moment. This is not one of those pass the bucket uh, moves of God tonight. This is a bring and lay and consecrate uh, on the altar. A $35 seed. Amen. Those of you that's watching me online, I want you to do that. I want you to put a thumbs up if you hear the Lord and you're responding to him in the comments tonight. A $35 seed tonight. And when you have it, I want you now to just lift up your phone, lift up your hand tonight. Every one of us tonight are going to, are going to do that. A seed of just $35 uh, dollars, a seed of $35 tonight. We're going to sow into what it is that God uh, is doing and has done and has spoken uh, in this place uh, even on uh, tonight. Take a moment now. I want you to prepare that and I'm going to give you instructions to bring it as we would leave tonight. Hallelujah. Defeat out the door, yes. Keep your feet out the door. Yes. God's doing a new thing. Hallelujah. Get ready for overflow, yes. Get ready for overflow. Come on, we're about to give. Say that one more time. Speak that into the atmosphere. Eyes have a yes. Eyes have a seen. Come on, lift your seat. Say, lift the, kick the feet out the door. God's doing a new thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Get ready for overflow. Yes. Get ready for overflow. Hallelujah. Say, I'm getting ready to see. I'm getting ready to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something I've never seen. That's it. Say it. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to see. Hallelujah. Something I've never seen. Something I've never seen. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your gift. Father, we thank you right now as we would sow into the move tonight into what was stirred and what was spoken and declared in this place tonight, Lord. We make a tangible, hallelujah, investment now into this anointing, into this flow, 
into this river on tonight, Lord God. And we thank you that as we do so, we are securing some things in the weeks to come, Lord God. We love you and we thank you now that it's done in Jesus' name by faith. Amen, amen, and amen. I want everybody to come tonight. If you're giving with your phone, I want you to just make contact with the altar. If you're giving cash, I want you to just lay it there. Hallelujah. That's it. And when you lay hands, say, I'm getting ready to see. I'm getting ready to see. Hallelujah. Something, Something I've, I've never, never, ever seen. Something I've never seen. You're going to blow my mind. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to see. Whoa, whoa, Glory to God. Whoa, whoa. Something I've never seen. Something I've never seen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can I Glory to God. It's going to be real, man. I'm getting ready to see. Something I've never seen. Can we just say that one word that we're going to see in our lives? Come on, let's say it together, church. Say it. I'm getting ready. The kind of blessing that's about to fall. It's falling on me, yeah. Come on, I need you to touch two people. Tell them, get ready, get ready, get ready. Come on, tell them there's streams coming get into ready. your house. Come on, tell them there's streams coming into your house. I'm ready for all. Tell them there's streams coming into your house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Listen, as we would give our final benediction tonight, I want to remind you we're praying again on Wednesday. Amen. Say it. Teach me how to war. Amen. Teach me how to war. Uh, uh, warfare, every time we enter into prayer, is warfare. Amen. So this Wednesday, I want to encourage you to be here in the sanctuary uh, as we would even go forth over and declare and decree over our month of February. Amen. You have to understand how to war. Amen. And do not be, uh, do not be uh, sleep in the spirit for what it is that the Lord uh, is doing. Let's lift our hands tonight. I want to speak the blessings of God over you as you would depart on tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that tonight uh, we pressed our way because there was something we couldn't get anywhere else but at your altar. Thank you for the word that made the heart glad tonight. Thank you for the confirmation that's in this place even on tonight. Thank you for the encouragement, the lifting of the head and the stirring of our determination on tonight as we spent time with you in prayer. Thank you for the man of God that's been traveling all day to lead us in this prayer exercise on tonight. We ask that you would pour back into him, Lord God. We ask that you would cover him even as he would rest tonight, Lord God, and fly back to Nashville to fulfill and continue the work that you called him to do. We speak success over his ministry now, Lord God. We speak favor now over the work of his hand. We speak win at his back even now in acceleration towards what you're calling us to do. Now, God, as we would go out on tonight, we thank you that tonight is going to be the best rest we've had in 2023 tonight. Come on, we declare it in the name of Jesus and we seal it now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Say it, teach me how to war, God. Amen. Lay hands on yourself. Say it's going to be the best rest I've had all year. Amen. God bless you. Love on somebody on your way out. 
Hallelujah. Tell them I'll see you on Wednesday. I'm getting ready to see you. Oh